Good morning, Chi-Town. It is Monday, October 18, 2010. This is your Chi-Town weather forecast for today. Mostly cloudy and cool in the morning, scattered showers, and the sun will be breaking through later this afternoon. Northeast winds shift to northwest, high 56, low 41. Now on to a little bit of Chi-Town news. The chief executive of the Tribune Company has informed staffers that a top executive that he suspended last week for sending an inappropriate email has quit. CEO Randy Michaels said in one paragraph memo sent Friday that Chief Innovation Officer Lee Abrams offered his resignation and he accepted it. Michaels wrote that the resignation is effective immediately. Abrams sent a staff an email Wednesday that contained a link to a racy video clip. The Tribune Company was the subject of a withering New York Times article ran earlier this month portraying the corporate culture of the Chicago-based media giant as a frat house. The company owns the Los Angeles Times, Chicago Tribune, and other media properties and is struggling to win the approval for its reorganization after filing Chapter 11. Now on to some other Chi-Town news. A mother-daughter fortune-telling team persuade at least three Chicagoans to give them their life savings because their money was cursed and needed cleansing. Then fled with the cash before being caught in Arizona Thursday, said authorities. Laura Santini, 62, and daughter Roseanne Santini, 36, are charged with stealing more than $62,000 from a 60-year-old woman in April of 2007 and $45,000 from a couple in July 2007. Telling them the root of all their problems was their money, which needed to be cleansed, the prosecutor said. Give me the money, I'll clean it. Jeez, man, I'll launder it, I'll do whatever you need. The woman allegedly told their victims they would take the money to a shrine in India where they would have it blessed and it would purge it of all evil spirits. The victims asked for their money back but were told something bad would happen to them or their children if they did not have the money cleansed. The women were arrested in last spring and scheduled for arraignment in April but fled prompting no bail arrest warrants. They were caught in Arizona on July 17th and extradited here last week. Now on to some other news. Pop star Justin Bieber is reportedly being investigated for assault charges at a laser tag facility located in Canada. According to TMZ, the website says that the 12-year-old boy claims that Bieber hit him while playing at the facility. Bieber's rep told TMZ that was not true. How old is this kid? I mean, look at him. He looks like he can't even lift a zipper without getting out of breath. I really doubt that blow was all that damaging. I mean, really, assault charges, a laser tag? You know what, what is the difference between Justin Bieber and Lady Gaga? One of them has balls, and it ain't a beer. You're watching Shai 